Oh, hi. Uh, it's Mr. Mohan, the Distance SLP. I was just um, just having some coffee, but I see you're here. Mm. Maybe you'll like some coffee too. Yeah. So maybe you're wondering what's going on with these uh, Distance SLP videos. I'll put your coffee down here. Come over here. I'll put it down here. And um, I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, there's a video I made about speech sounds called T. And you see a lot of me saying T, 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 saying words that start with T. And uh, you might wonder what that's for. Um, of course, SLPs like me, we can help children uh, learn to make uh, certain speech sounds better. Uh, that is part of what we do. But in my case, um, with the case that I'm working on, I have a lot of children. We're, we're in a school for um, severe, profound uh, handicaps. And so a lot of our kids uh, in our school are not using nearly the amount of verbal language or, or speech that, uh, you know, the typical children use. But a lot of our kids do have some speech sounds maybe some words or small group of words or, or just some speech sounds that we're not, you know, we're not really sure if they're words, but that they like to use. Uh, so I was thinking of some children, when I made that video, I was thinking of some children who do make sounds like T, T. And I was having a little fun with that. I was thinking about those kids, the way I work with them in school. And I just wanted to let you know uh, when I work with them, I'm not trying to uh, teach them how to make that sound. It's almost the, the opposite. I picked a sound that they already know how to make. They, uh, they might not make a whole lot of other sounds, but for some reason they make this sound maybe because they enjoy the feeling in their mouth when they make it, they like the sound that it makes, um, they're thinking of a word, you know, there might be a word that they're approximating or trying to say that we're not sure what it is, but, you know, they're making that sound that way. Um, but, uh, there are a number of children who, when you hear them in our school making a sound, they enjoy it. I mean, they, their faces light up if you come and make the sound back to them. So, in the case where I have a, a student who goes, T, T. I've, you know, I notice if I come out and hang out with that student and tell him T, oh, T, and, you know, makes me think of teeth and, you know, things like that, um, they want to engage with me. Their eyes light up, they, they seem excited to have me say it again, try different sounds. So that's kind of the spirit that I'm thinking of in making a lot of the sound videos on this, uh, on this channel, uh, those videos, are to think about uh, listening to some of the sounds that our different students make and just using that as a chance to engage with them, to get them interested in wanting to hang out and make some sounds um, with us. Um, what else can I say about that? Um, I think that these students have, you know, sometimes the students in our school have behaviors that we don't want to reinforce. They might be, um, uh, they might be taking something from the floor and putting it in their mouth, you know, or doing something that we don't want to happen more. But uh, a speech sound like T, uh, I think is pretty close to regular social behavior that everybody does. So that's why I think reinforcing that and rewarding that and engaging them with that behavior, even if it's not like the speech we, we usually use, right? It's just, it's just a sound or a few sounds or a few words they're getting that chance to engage with us. I think it's bringing us closer to them. It's making, the, it's giving them a, a rewarding chance to interact with us and a rewarding chance for us to interact with them. And so hopefully that kind of, that kind of interaction is an opportunity for growth for all of us to, uh, to have a richer communication. You know, maybe make more sounds, make more words. So I hope that was interesting. I mean, I see, Hey, you didn't drink any of your coffee. Either you don't like coffee or maybe that was an interesting talk. I don't know. I'll see you later.